Well, good afternoon. It's Yovette at Painting with Yovette again. And it's that beautiful time of the year when the fall colors are in full bloom and it's just gorgeous out. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to paint a fall color tree. And um, so come with me and uh, we'll get started and it's in the house. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I pretty much have this painting underway. Um, I kind of like it so far, although I always am open for changing things. That's just the way I am. Um, anyway, so for doing uh, fall trees, <clears throat> excuse me, we have almost all the colors, all the Bob Ross colors is white, black, Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, alizarin crimson, sap green, yellow ochre, me, uh, red cad red light and or maybe it's just cad red medium and um, cad red light so that's the colors <clears throat> excuse me I have a horse in my throat so for brushes um, again I be I'll be using two one inch brushes one for the dark color one for the lighter color um, I'm going to use a palette knife a liner brush and a number six filbert brush so I'm going to start by mixing <clears throat> pretty much all the dark colors because this is going to, I'm going to put the tree over here. And, uh, you know, actually, maybe I'll put it over here. Yeah, I kind of like it over here. What? It, either one. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take uh, pretty much all of the black, a good part of the blue, uh, the dark brown, alizarin, and maybe just a little bit of green and I'm going to mix these colors together they don't have to be mixed totally a hundred percent sometimes I like to leave it um, a little bit unmixed um, let's see I gotta decide okay I'm, I'm gonna put the tree over here because a, a fall tree a bushy tree uh, there would be more room for it on this side than there would on this side. So, Okay, so with your one inch brush, what I want you to do, we've done this kind of like uh, bushes if you've watched one of my previous, previous videos. There's a little rim on the brush. Have that pointed upward. And when you go into your paint, keep your handle straight up and just bring your brush through it just through like that and you'll see what's happening is it's going to get all these little bushes right in the brush just from loading it this way okay then turn it upside down so this rim is down and we'll just start putting in our tree and I'm just going to I'm not pushing extremely hard but I do want some various shapes in here. I don't mind letting a little bit of blue come through. I think that's kind of nice. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load more paint. Again, the, the rim up. Come through. Turn the rim down. And I'm just pressing into the bottom. Again, let's load the brush. Turn it upside down. And actually, let's do some bushes over here. I'll probably have grass down here on the bottom. run out of paint pretty fast. When I'm, let me show you, when I'm pressing, if you can see this, I'm just barely touching and just a little push. If you push hard, you're going to just smear it. It's just going to be a blob. But just that light, light, light push. Okay, we'll just leave that like that for now. 
Uh, next, I'd like to do a tree trunk. So I'm going to take my filbert brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown on both sides of the brush. And then on one side, I'm just going to pull through a little yellow ochre. So I've got two sides. And I want my light out this way because you would not see the light back here. So I'm just going to make, look, oh, maybe a double trunk. So there's one. And you notice I don't make it completely straight. Again, load on one side dark, the other side light. This one's going to have a double. There. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is just clean off all this dark. We don't want that to get mixed up with our highlight colors. And this is the fun part. I just love doing highlights. <laughs> okay, anyway, with the clean one inch brush, I want you to dip into your liquid white. Get a, a big scoop like so. And just set it right here. I've just got it on the side of my palette here. And again, I want my handle up because I'm going to be loading this brush. So I've got a lot of nice liquid white in here. Let's start out with a um, yellowish color. Maybe yellow. Wait a minute, where's my... Okay, my handle's up. Okay, a little yellow and maybe some ochre. Because I don't want a really bright, bright yellow, but I do want some. And you notice I hold my handle up when I do this and bring it through and then turn it upside down. And then up here, I want to go outside of my dark. And I'm just lightly, almost like a, oh, like a spring. Okay, so now you have some yellow and white in your brush. You could add, say, just a little bit of, let's go into, I, I notice usually the light colors are really on the top of the tree. So let's just go into some plain yellow ochre for the next step. Oh, little white, just a little liquid white, then into the ochre. And let's go here. See, that changes the color just ever so slightly. And leave dark spaces in there. You want those dark spaces. Now, dip into your, uh, your white again. Just a little bit of liquid white on the bottom. And let's go through some red. And I like that, but I also want to put a little bit up here. And maybe more red. Let's do a red one down here. Not red enough. Let's get a little more red. Okay, now because I've got that red on there, and red is very strong, I want you to take and just, just tap lightly on your napkin. You just want to get the, the color off the tips. You don't need to go way up into the brush. You can, you can feel when it starts to come off. Okay, go back into your white, rim up. Now let's go into, how about some gold, yellow ochre, maybe touch a yellow. And 
and see as you come further down it starts to lose the color it, it just gets lighter it kind of fades away that's really nice I like that and again into the white stronger yellow just a plain yellow And maybe a little red. And, <clears throat> excuse me, then we'll make a few branches. For that you'll need a little bit of thinner dip your brush in the thinner kind of get a lot of thinner on here and then maybe go into this color with a little brown see so you want this kind of runny that's probably a pretty good color and just here and there Just a few little branches. I don't like to go crazy with this, but a few are nice. That's a weird one there. I don't like that one. <laughs> well, we'll just call that a happy accident, you know, like all, most of them. Yeah, just a few little things sticking up here and there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Painting fall colors is a lot of fun, and there's just no end to the colors that you can use. Um, and I wish I had some different colors that were a little bit brighter and better, but I didn't, so I used what I had. So anyway, well, grab your brushes, paint fall colors, have a good time. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.